It is quarter till six on a Wednesday, marking her first year in office. New this morning, Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs is opening up to me about lessons learned on the job in the first 12 months leading our state as our 24th governor. Governor Katie Hobbs first year in office turned out to be a record setting one. She vetoed 143 bills, the most ever in a single year by an Arizona governor. What do you make of the criticism you got for those 143 vetoes? Um, I'm not I'm not sure about criticism. I told Arizonans that I would be a backstop to legislation that didn't protect our freedoms, that didn't move us forward on the big problems that we have to solve. And I think I kept that promise um, and I'll continue to do that. I'm hopeful the need to exercise the veto pen will be more uh, uh, rare. Uh, but I'm ready to do that if that's needed. What would you say to some legislators on the other side of the aisle who would maybe label you as an obstructionist? I made it very clear in my state of the state that I was focused on solving problems and that I would work with anyone to do that. Uh, and so I think I would put it back on them and, and ask them why they keep sending me bills that I was very clear that I was gonna veto. She's also ready to do things her way. Last year, after the Republican-led Senate refused to confirm more than a dozen agency nominees, she appointed them as executive deputy directors instead, all as a way to bypass the blockade. Arizona Senate President Warren Peterson, a Republican from Gilbert, is now suing to block the move, claiming it's illegal. What's your response to that, and how do you continue to move forward and work together knowing that this just happened, you're getting sued because of the agency nomination issue. And we knew that, that that was a possible consequence of the action we took when we withdrew the nominations. But the fact is that Arizona sent me here to do a job and the agency directors are an important piece of doing that job. And they have created a circus and gone far beyond their responsibility uh, to, uh, to confirm uh, my nom nominees and I'm not going to let government slow down. I'm not going to let them stop um, f our, our agencies from delivering for veterans and small businesses and again, do the job that Arizonans elected me to do. In divided government, which yeah. is what we have right now, how optimistic are you really? Because from our vantage point, it seems more divided than ever. And, and, I, and I've said that frequently, it is more divided than ever, but we did some things this year, last year, that, that show that if you can put that division aside, you can get things done. And it's maintaining that optimism, Governor Hobbs says, has been her biggest lesson in her first year. And despite how divided it gets, um, if we remember why we're here, that we can get those important things done. And, um, and I think uh, it's something that I knew but was reiterated for me over and over again this last year. And even though she's only one year into her first term, Governor Hobbs tells me she's already thinking about a possible second term and, and not just thinking about one. She told me she would definitely be running again in 2026. If you missed any of our stories this week with the governor, head to the main page of ABC15.com.